Hey guys, here's another video. Um, I wanted to make, since I found out this morning that there was something really, really cool. Uh, it's called Pimp My Ride. This is not a ROM, this is not a theme, this is not an app. This is something that you install through Clockwork Re Recovery or whichever recovery you have. You must be rooted, you must be unlocked. I currently have it on my Ga Galaxy S3. Uh, there's a lot of, a ton of, you know, tons of customization options that this uh, allows you to do. Uh, as you can see out here, I'm running a, a, a theme, the MUI B4 as a theme. Um, it allows you to install Beats Audio, uh, S Voice, uh, themes, better battery life tweaks, um, uh, video accelerator, uh, yeah, everything. I mean, everything you can think of. I just wanted to show you guys exactly how that works. Uh, as you can see, I got it from XDA Developers. I will provide a link to this uh, website here. Um, just read through the through the pluses. I mean, there's a long list of what you can do, what you cannot do. So um, I've already downloaded mine, as you can see here. I've already downloaded the file that I needed. Uh, so now what you want to do is go to uh, Clockwork Recovery to go ahead and actually get it uh, to work. So reboot, recovery, and reboot. <coughs> and there's a ton of different customization options, like I said. Uh, a few of them being uh, faster internet browsing, better battery life, uh, better battery consumption, uh, kernel tweaks, uh, everything, disable boot animation, uh, themes, uh, I mean everything that you can think of. Uh, and it'll walk you through every single step once you have it. Uh, so here, I've already downloaded so let's look for the file. It should be in my internal, but let's slow check here. Uh, let's use it for my SD card. Let's see if it's there. Yep, I have it here. So what I want to do now is actually install that file. Um, so just let it go there. As you can see, it's already started the process. Pimp my ROM. <clears throat> let me zoom out a little bit here. So let me walk you through the steps. So obviously you get a welcome screen uh, version. Uh, updated October 3rd. Uh, press uh, next to install uh, to continue with the installation. As you can see the next button here. It's really, really nice. Uh, I mean, it walks you through everything. So let me see. Let me press next. Uh, terms of use, you want to accept those. You have a box down here. Um, backup original build prop. Do not, do not tick this if you've already, uh, already pimped out your current ROM. So I'm not going to do that because I've already done so. Next. Uh, here is what current, uh, which version of uh, Android are you currently running. Again, it'll work on any phone, any ROM. It doesn't matter. I currently have Android Jelly Bean 4.1. So press next. <clears throat> so here are all your tweaks here. Uh, take whichever one that you want. Uh, you can go to on all tweaks, uh, internet speed browsing tweaks. Next. Uh, battery consumption on miscellaneous kernel tweaks. Let's do those. Uh, government go, uh, on demand governor tweaks. Um, let's see what else is in here that I might want to use. Uh, improve X to 4 performance. Ah, no, forget about that. First GPU 2, 2D rendering. Improve multitasking. Don't mind if I do. Let's see all. Oh. SQ light tweaks, ad expert, ad expert mental tweaks. Uh, let's see, enable external. Nope. Just go through the list, guys. Whichever one you guys want, go ahead and click on it. Um, I guess that's for, that's it for me. So let's click next. Once done, um, here it gives you a long list of uh, of what you can do. Camera quality tweaks, yes. Battery saving tweaks, yes. 3D signal and speed tweaks, of course. Um, Wi-Fi tweaks, so I guess this is all good, so let's install all tweaks. You can do so if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and do it, so install them all. Um, dialing time tweaks, increase launcher in memory, lock launcher in memory, touchscreen tweaks. I mean, everything sounds good. Video streaming st uh, tweaks. Uh, next. Uh, here you have more options. Uh, tick the options you want, of course. Uh, allow Davic uh, enable video hardware acceleration. Yes. Disable boot animation. Nope. Uh, let's see. Enable service. This, nothing like that. Enable is uh, no. 
disable ADB debugging icon no volume wake disable volume wake if you have it it'll de disable it so don't click that don't disable don't enable that button hacking always on enable 16-bit 16 16-bit transparency no nope. so next I'm done with there launchers it'll give you an option which one you want to actually install uh, as far as maybe Apex or Noba I don't want either one so since I'm already running uh, AOKP build 4 I don't need any one of those I mean you can do so but I'm not gonna do it uh, miscellaneous apps that you want installed uh, ROM toolbox Lite, solid explorer Adobe flash enjoy flash playing streaming and gaming on Jelly Bean. okay so it installs it for you that's good script manager uh, Hulu plus Hulu plus landscape um, if you guys like that I'm gonna go ahead and click one just you know sake of the video uh, smart stay at uh, ex prevents your screen from turning off as long as you're looking at it uh, SG SGS <clears throat> Samsung Galaxy S3 like next uh, here is where you can install your themes I currently have new v4 let's install them all just so you can take a look at them uh, next <clears throat> uh, here's another thing uh, beats audio if you guys want to install beats audio go ahead and click that uh, Install Adrenaline Boost Script, uh, Sony Walkman, S Voice. Let's click on S Voice so we can look at it. TouchWiz UX Launcher and Widgets. Um, that's a, might as well. Let's just do it. Click Next. Uh, here you go. Uh, ready to install. You are now ready to begin installation. Press Install to start. So start is at the bottom or go back. Of course, if you want to click on more options. I don't want to do so now. So let's install now. Uh, let the phone do its thing here. Let let it. Let it go through the process of actually installing everything that you, that you picked. Let me zoom in a little bit here to see if you guys can take a look, have a better look. So it's obviously installing everything that you chose, um, and it'll once you boot back up, it'll actually start doing everything. But right now, you know, just give it some time. It will some, take some time depending on how many options you uh, you chose. There it is. Quite a few things. Again, it will work on every single ROM, every single Android version that you have. Um, so I thought it's pretty cool. So I thought I'd download it, install it, and show you guys. See, you guys see, I was want to implement it to your ROM. Go ahead and plump finish. Reboot device now. Yes. Finish. So now it's going to reboot my phone with all those options already implemented into the ROM. So just give it a second here. It's most likely going to boot up and update all the apps that you currently have. Um, I mainly took this option because of the battery life tweaks and performance overall. Uh, should be better here. I haven't had it more than half hour, so I wouldn't know exactly if it actually improves it drastically or not. But let's hope it does. Um, so here I'm already, like I said, I'm running AOKP build 4, so this is the actual boot up screen. I could have disabled it, but just kept it. Uh, initiating Swagger, of course. Uh, here you go. Uh, Android is upgrading. Uh, it's going to optimize all the apps that you currently have. Uh, quite a few, as you can tell. Again, I will post a link to the where these app, uh, where the where this zip file is. It is not a ROM. It is not a file. It is not a NAP. So it's just something that you install through Clockwork Recovery or Twerp, whichever one you have, and it just does everything for you. It just gives you your options. You click away at whatever it is that you want to install, and that is it. So starting app, so it should be back up shortly here. There it is. So give it a second, of course, if you want. I was already running uh, uh, MUI uh, V4 theme. So as you can see, it gives you a few other ones, a few other options once you install them. Uh, let's stick to the regular one here, always. So. I'm back up to my actual home screen as you can see Vita Audio you can go ahead and click away at that and then enable whatever it is that you want to enable I enabled everything enable uh, the actual boost uh, and the equal equalizer as far as the speaker the headset of course and Bluetooth you can you know go through the options there 
Uh, let's go to the themes. Let's see. Actually, the S voice is right there. Let's see if it even works. Should. I haven't tried it, but uh, this theme is not helping. Let's get this. Weather. Let's see if it works. Here is the weather for Anaheim, California. Okay, so it looks like it works. A little loud, but it works. Um, okay, like I said, let's go to the themes. Let's see what's going on there. Um, themes. And these are all the options, I guess, uh, that it brings you. These are the, this is the regular one. This is the MUI V4. A hollow white. Hollow stock. Hollow cyan. So since we are, let's just go to with cyan. Let's apply that. Apply anyway. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so hollow cyan. You can see, it looks like everything. A few things change here. As you can see the clock and Wi-Fi signal, of course, changed. The cl uh, menu settings, everything's hollowed out. So it looks nice. So again, guys, I wanted to show you guys uh, exactly what uh, Pit My ROM is all about. If you guys like the video, please rate comment, subscribe, and uh, that is it. Thank you guys for watching.